happy. Yeah, I, I, I'm not very happy about this. I'm, 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 nobody else has said anything. I should be somewhere. <laughs> it's unbelievable, isn't it? Where is he? He's not even here. He's hiding because he knows He's you're all going to feel bad. And he was at the Nationals, so it's like this is his spot. Hey, season two, congratulations. Yeah, you guys are you. back. How does this feel? Yeah, amazing. I mean, it's wonderful to revisit a character. Um, I think the great thing about long-form TV is that you get to explore a character in so much more detail than if you were doing a film, for instance, or doing a play. You know, it just, you know it's, it's wonderful because the writer comes up with another eight hours or ten hours worth of, of story. What is actually happening right now? We're stuck in an infinite time loop of three weeks. The world will keep being destroyed for, in theory, oh, infinity. For God's sake, George. Sorry. Are you good with it? Are you good at keeping secrets? Yeah, I'm very good at keeping really? secrets. Yeah. Okay. So season one, at the end of it, I felt quite conflicted, a bit upset with a certain character. At the end of season two, how am I going to feel? Discompobulated. I love that word. I think you're going to feel very, very discombobulated. And you're going to watch it, you're going to want to watch it again and again and again. Just like Interstellar, like I've watched Interstellar like three times. Every time traveling film it's mind -blowing. or TV show is mind blowing and complicated and detailed and, 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 and complex. And you want to watch it over and over and over again to try and understand it. That's like the best thing in the world when you have to do that. Who believes that someone has invented a true time machine? The tunnels form a high velocity track so that the subject can reach the right speed. I mean, it's back to the future. Uh, I haven't seen it. My mum's seen it. She hasn't seen anything. She like season one, if I'd gone into Papa's dressing room, I would have found a running machine, yeah, which yeah, he didn't yeah. request. Yeah. I want to know, if yeah. I went into your dressing room yeah. in season yeah. two, yeah. what is the strangest, yeah. coolest thing I might find? Yeah, so in season, it, okay, so... He used to want to go let, back let, to season one. If we could just talk about that quickly. Yeah. So in season one, Papa had a treadmill yeah. in his dressing room. Which he didn't ask for. Which he didn't ask for. And I think he had, a, you know, very good intentions on, on using it. He didn't use it. He didn't use it once. Okay. So season two, I went into his dressing room and um, the treadmill was still there. But um, what he had in addition to the treadmill were these weights. He had weights. Yeah, he had these weights in his dressing room. But they weren't just any old weights. They were like, he was so impressed with the way that they worked because they weren't just dumbbells. You could actually change the weight of the dumbbell just by... I don't know what he did, but he was really impressed with it. I'm and sensing I said, you're amazing. a bit I said that was amazing, and he said, he said yeah, they were just here or, or whatever. I, he never used them. He never used them. What's that about? I know. Joey, could you what please sort that have? out? What did I have what in did my dressing, have? dressing room? I had a bike. I had, a, <laughs> I had an exercise bike. He had a treadmill and he had weights. Next one, next season, yeah. I, want a, I want a chest press. A chest press. <laughs> So you find the scientists, build a machine. We go back, past the checkpoint, rescue Janet. Cancel the loop. Everyone lives happily ever after. Yeah, that's the idea, except we can't find them. This show is all about going back in the past and stopping, like, disasters from occurring. I want to know if there's a, what one memory from the past you'd like to put pause on and relive over and over again without anyone touching it, um, if it's not too personal. Oh, do you know what? Do you know what it would be? Do you know what it would be? It would be the 1985 snooker final between Steve, Steve Davis and Dennis Taylor. Because that was like my first memory. That was my first memory. I was four years old. This is why you don't have weights or a running machine in your room. I was four years old room. and it was a wonderful moment. Rudy, you are crazy. My mum let me stay up until half past twelve to watch it. If any of you feel you cannot be a part of it, I understand. But this will take place with or without you. The time break scientist we're looking for, Wes already knows about her. Why wouldn't she mention that to anyone? A legend is not because it slipped her mind. I got a lead. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you in that taser. I don't know what it is you think I've done. No, what you've done is what you're going to do. There is actually a much bigger problem we need to worry about. We're losing time. It means the disintegration of time, the collapse of the loop. We either find a way out of this soon, or our universe will fall apart. Uh, uh, I hate time travel. 